Howdy guys, I'm back with more Secret of Mana. Last time, Flammy the Dragon decided to help me out and now I can fly all over the map. So I returned to Gaia's navel where apparently the Dwarf Elder has something to tell me. Thank goodness you're safe. Even the little one's gotten a bit bigger. <laughs> you make a dwarf proud. Let me give you this mallet as a thanks for dropping by. It's the least I can do. Ooh. I used to use it in the show. Uh, a minor mallet. Good grief. How long has this been here and I've just been neglecting it? Maybe it's, uh... Oh, is this it? Okay. Uh, how does this work? Oh! Okay. Oh, I can be itty bitty and cute and stuff. Oh my gosh. Well... I assume it also works in reverse. Ah, well, that would have been <laughs> pretty useful a lot earlier. I can't think of anything that's pigmentized me lately, but eh, it's still nice to have. I don't know, it doesn't last very long. By the time I get to the menu and use the darned item, the pigmy thing would have probably worn off. All right. Um, I'm, ooh, let's, let's deal with this dude, and can I use there. Clammy here? I can. Sweet. And I got a weapon skill up. How cool. I haven't done any grinding in a while, so my weapon skills have probably fallen behind quite a bit. Alright, so I have resisted the temptation to visit every single place on the map, but I think, is this the place that I'm supposed to go? To help Kakara, uh, you guys told me it was right about here. I mean, there's another island, but I don't think, I think this one's too big and too far away. So let's go to Turtle Shell Island. Oh, and there's a big giant turtle shell right in the middle. <laughs> it's turtles all the way down. Ooh, it's pretty here. I like the way the huts look. All right, um, I guess I'll start over from the right and work my way around. Oh, there are children here. Who cares how old we are? We're in love! Oh. That's why we eloped! Oh my goodness, do you even know what eloped means? You're too, too young to know what that word means. We're married! <laughs> We're married, oh my gosh. <laughs> they don't even know what being married means. It's adorable. And they've got like a pile of apples here. And what's with the creepy statue with big red angry eyes. What the heck is going on in this village? Why are there two married children in this hut? Is, is the whole place going to be... Okay, now there are some adults here and again with all the apples. I'll always remember our lavish lifestyle back in the Empire, but what really matters is that we're safe now. This seems pretty lavish. I mean, piles upon piles of ripe, delicious fruit. That, that's pretty darn lavish. You got flowers coming from your walls. This is nice. I mean, yeah, you're laying on a straw bed, but you got a lot of food. You got shelter. I don't really know about the candles next to all this straw that seems like a fire hazard. My family was nobility back in the Vandal Empire, but that was before the Emperor went crazy. I escaped to this island with my family before things got too dangerous. Hmm. So, the children eloped. These people escaped the Empire. This is like an island of, like, outcasts or something. Oh my gosh. And of course, there's a dancing merchant here, too. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, I can't talk to him, though. Can't sell oh. much here. I do better business in a bigger city. Well, obviously, there's like three people here. <laughs> there's nothing on this blasted isle except these sea hare tails. Oh, sea hare tails. Boy, that sounds like something I need. Huh? You actually want one? Well, I was gonna throw it away anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> Obtained sea hare's tail. That's the easiest quest ever. I just had to talk to someone. Better put this away before I lose it. Yeah. Well, heck, if he's running out, why don't you give me, like, three Can't or four? Can't sell much here. I'd do better business in a bigger city. Well, you also won't sell me anything. You're not even giving me the opportunity to buy anything. No wonder business sucks. I, I think this is kind of interesting. It's neat how, you know, it's trash in one place, but so desperately needed in another place. That's just... 
our world. It's some, it's what things are trash in some areas, and you know, they're useful in other areas. This whole island here is situated on the back of a giant turtle shell. <laughs> the world on the on the back of a turtle. <laughs> That's like a like a legend or something, isn't it? And here we go with the fire next to straw. Everyone's just trying to burn down their huts or something. Whatever's going on on the outside doesn't really affect us here. It's so peaceful. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It, you know, it's really hard to stay isolated on an island. It can be done. There's a few, like, uncontacted tribes or whatever, aren't there? All right. Let's see. Oh, there's quite a few people in here. And again, all of them have the creepy statues. Hello. Hi. Well, she didn't have a whole lot to say. <laughs> Neither does this little guy. What the heck? How'd you get here? <laughs> well, they just didn't have. I, I just don't feel like they know what to do with this hut, so they just threw in people that are saying like next to nothing. All right, is that all that's on the island here? I guess so. It's, I think I'd go kind of crazy living here personally. It's not a lot here. It's very small. You get real tired of your neighbors really fast. There. All right, now I guess it's back to Kakara Village with the sea hare tail. Um, I, I actually think this is kind of cool because it, it's kind of, I think it kind of alludes to like, uh, you know, real life. It's like a lot of the, oh gosh, here we go. A lot of the stuff we throw away, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. All right, uh, back in Kakara. And I think I need to talk to one of these fellas. What's this? King Amar! It's a sea hare's tail! Hurrah! Let's throw that in the dry well! Yeah, I'll give you something to dance about. <laughs> Water! Water! <laughs> We're saved! Oh my gosh, the music changed! Everyone's so happy, even the flowers are blooming now. In return, let me give you this belt. It belonged to the legendary hero, so it ought to look great on you. Ooh, a Moogle belt. What is that to? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Oh, here it is. Oh, Moogle belt. Uh, let's do it on Papoy. Oh, Papoy's Moogle. Okay, so it's kind of like the mallet. If <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. So I can just have... A Moogle crew. I, I don't really know why I'd want to do that, but I, I guess it, yeah. Okay, well, I guess just like the mallet, it's good to get rid of those effects. So, I can't go. I, I actually, I, I think it was, was it Pygmy or Moogle? I think one of them wears off pretty fast. I thought it was Pygmy, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think that one might be like permanent until you, I, I know I used Prim's magic until, you know, well, now that I've got this item, I don't need to anymore, huh? All right, so I guess I'm done with that little side quest. Let me check out my game log here. The reunited with Flammy, King Truffle tells the party about the Lofty Mountains, home of Sage Yacht. Lucas suggests they meet with Yacht, Jacques, whatever. So the party heads toward the mountains to the southwest of Matango. All right, so, oops, where am I going? Where am I going, actually? I'm so used to having to walk everywhere. All right, let's get there. Flammy, and um, I guess I'll have to go back to Matango to try to find these mountains. I've found a lot of cool places on the map, like there's this moon palace over here, but like I said, I've resisted the temptation to drop into all these weird places. All right, so all right, here's Matango. So southwest would be over here, right? All right, so lofty. Oh, here's a here's a village. I don't know if I'm supposed to go there. Oh, lofty mountains. Can I just? I guess I can land here, but should I go to the village first? Well, I, I guess it doesn't hurt to check it out, right? See what's going on. It is right here. I feel like this is on the way little watermill thing here welcome to mandala here in the lofty mountains mm. all right well it, this is in the lofty mountains so i guess i'm in the right spot you can get to the palace of darkness down the mountain 
But be careful, it's full of monsters. Palace of Darkness. Is Look for a cave to get into the heart of the mountain. Hmm, is that where I'm supposed to go? Maybe? It sounds like it. Is that where Lumina is? That wouldn't make sense for Lumina Light to be in the Palace of Darkness now, though, would it? Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Welcome! What'll it be? Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, new goodies. An ivy amulet. And everyone can put that on. So one, two, three. A magical armor. One, two, three. And, oh, and a circlet. Okay, so one, two. Prem can't put that on. Hmm. I'm, Anything else? Um, no. Come again. I'm not really sure why... I mean, you get like three characters. I'm not really sure if there's much reason to to have some people be able to un or not be able to equip certain things. Looks like this gives me frost resistance. Oh, I hate saying goodbye to the tiger armor, though. I guess I'm gonna have to. Ooh, and this uh, gives you protection from poison and ghosts. I guess I'm gonna have to say goodbye to the tiger armor. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> All right, that and then we. Oh, whoops! I didn't. Oh, I did. And let's see the frost earring. Hmm. 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 All right. And oh, here we go. There we go. I didn't put the ivy thing on. There we go. All right. Now she can't have the circle, so she's gonna keep the tiger cap. And then I can put that on and that on. Sweet. Well, I guess that actually means I've got to change my costumes now. <laughs> Here, he can... He, you know what? Let's go back to just being normal for a bit. We haven't been normal in a while, have we? There we go. All right, let me sell some things Welcome. and finish looking around Welcome. here. All right, let me unload. I don't know if I should keep any of these since they're like elemental resistant stuff. Maybe I should, I don't know. I don't feel like I really need to keep it. I'll, I'll keep a couple just in case and I can get rid of all of this stuff. I'm, I've been kind of holding on to it for a while, haven't I? There we go, much, much better. I guess I thought I'd probably need like the resistances from some of this stuff, but not really the case. It does kind of suck to get rid of the cute little Anything tiger else? suit, though. Come again. All right, let's keep looking around town here. Pretty cool little. I love all the little towns in this game. It feels pretty. Oh, does this? Oh, this lets me go outside. Oh, new monsters. A little red bee and a purple flower. It's like a, a bomb bee. It's like the stuff from the beginning of the of the game with like a palette swap and they're much higher level or something. I should probably come out here to do some grinding off camera. I won't, uh, I won't do it right now because like I said, my weapon levels are are kind of lacking. And uh, Randy did just level up his uh, spear. It's level 5 now, so I need to level up something else. Maybe the whip? Let's see. Evil, non-living. Um, let's go with the whip for now. Alright, let me go back into town. I don't want to be here, do I? Alright, so let's see what's going on. Oh, hey, Baldy. <laughs> hey. The devout come to this village from all over to visit our ancient temple. You've got a cool voice and a big head. <laughs> okay, is it just me or is this head kind of The devout of come big? to this village from all over to visit our ancient temple. Ancient temple, okay. So maybe there's a temple I need to check out. Is this the temple? Nope, this is a house. <laughs> uh, oh, Watts, what are you doing? Oh. Well, some climb, huh? Uh, maybe for you. I rode here on a dragon. <laughs> I've been waiting. Which weapon is ready for reforging? Man, this guy really just shows up everywhere. All right, let's upgrade the whip. And I don't know if... Oh, I gotta upgrade this one. And... Ooh, okay, I guess, I guess I've got a few upgrades. Oops, not there, though. All right, there we go, there we go. Yeah, the axe needed a couple of upgrades. There we go, awesome. I wanna check out my new weapons really quick. Let's see what they do now. 
the chakra hand raises intelligence and wisdom. Ooh, that sounds like something I should put on Prim, but I really need to focus on one weapon with her. She's kind of all over the place. And the steel whip in inflicts significant damage on insects and tough skinned pyrite. Insects, tough skin. It's, hmm. I have a lot of stuff that deals damage to insects and tough skinned uh, enemies right now. Alright, why is Watts hanging out with these folks? Come to visit the town. Enjoy your stay. Alright. Okay. The great sage Jock and his disciple Jack live on the peak. Ooh, finally, I'm in the right spot. It only took me half the game, I guess, to get to where um, I was originally supposed to go oh so long ago. Here's another little dude. Have you heard of the manor tree? They say it watches over us from the impenetrable pure land. The pure land. We're blessed to have the manor tree protect the world. Hmm. Okay. okay. Oh, this is like a house with no door. Maybe the door. Oh, no. There's a, there is a door. You just can't go in. Okay. Wow. You must be tired after scaling this mountain. <laughs> Wait, you flew up here? That's cheating. It is not. Oh my gosh, it is totally not cheating. I wonder if she'd say something else if I'd actually hoofed it up here. Mana is the energy that sustains us all. The world. The cosmos. The cosmos. But it is not an infinite resource. The cosmos are... So they're pretty darn expansive. I've been I've been watching Cosmos a little bit, and I didn't really quite know how expansive our universe is. And you mean to tell me it's all, the the mana tree? I don't know. I feel like the mana tree can't stretch out that far. The creatures of this land, from the tallest tree to the tiniest sprite, no longer cherish that energy. Tiniest sprite, you hear that, Papoy? And so mana is fading from the world. Hmm. Gosh, these, these bald-headed guys are... They've got a calm voice, but they're kind of depressing to... Oh! Is... Oh! Is this the temple? A wise sage lives high atop the mountain. He comes to meditate every day without fail. Oh! So I guess I need to climb up here then, huh? This temple dates back to the days of the Mana Fortress War. Mm -hmm. We still have artifacts from those dark times inside. In fact... Our orbs are some of them. Ooh, orbs. A strange technology. These ancient videos can replicate the world of the past. Fascinating. What? Videos can replicate the world of the past? What? Wait, hold on. I didn't understand that. This temple dates back to the days of the Mount of Fortress. Okay, yeah. We still have artifacts from artifacts. those dark times inside. Oh, our In orbs fact, or something? Our, okay. A strange technology. A strange technology. These, These ancient, ancient videos. videos. Okay. A world, can, worlds of the past. Videos. It can, sounds like videos. What a <laughs> sweet little girl. She brings flowers to the altar every day without fail. Oh. Ooh. I guess she's up here. Oh, is it this little girl here? Hi. Have you come to meditate? Sure. Yeah, why not? I don't know. I think I'd, uh... I don't know, I don't, uh, don't like this much of a height. I'd be afraid I'd fall off. <laughs> Surprised I don't have guardrails or something here. Don't bug me while I'm meditating. Kids these days. You're not meditating, you're just standing there with your hands behind your back. You gotta do the lotus position or whatever it is to meditate. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got the right idea. Um. He's over here meditating. He's just still standing around while he does it. Alright. And th this is definitely a lot more temple like. Oh! Are these the orbs that dude was talking about? I thought that he meant like weapon orbs or something. Alright. Uh, I can quit. What the heck? It's like a radio or something. And this one's broken. Weird. I guess that's what they mean by technology. <laughs> what? Oh, my heart breaks when he's not around. And I miss him. <laughs> oh, God. 
gosh. <laughs> someone was singing on Snapchat or something. These are just um, someone's old used up cell phones or something. <laughs> what the heck? Evening news. At dawn, Lauren launched missiles at the Empire. Oh, my evening news missiles? With the threat to take Lauren's capital, Wendell, by nightfall. What? Oh, my goodness. This is... Oh, my gosh. So it's like the world was, like, advanced, like, hundreds and hundreds of years ago before... It's the, oh my gosh, this is crazy. They're talking about the evening news and missiles. This could have taken place in the current time. Hi, Lancer. Correct! That makes you our new champion! Oh my gosh, there's even game show. Like, uh, like recordings of game shows. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Crazy. Mana is a limited resource. We must conserve it or we'll all have to face the consequences. Oh my gosh, they were warning people on, on television even, like, forever ago. What utter nonsense! And people didn't believe it, buy into it. Nonsense? Oh. If you think protecting the world from self-destruction is nonsense, then on your head be it. Oh, Mark man. my words. You can't end this here. Give me the mic. This is crazy. I didn't realize this game had so much depth to it. No wonder, you know, no wonder everyone loves this game so much, especially when you, you know, I'd give anything to have played this when it was, like, relevant, you know, like back in the 90s when it came out. Okay, let me finish listening to these before I lose my mind here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh! It exploded! Yeah, my control shook. That scared me. <laughs> it exploded. Maybe the Lion battery. Oh my gosh, yeah, it exploded. These are definitely like old, uh, what was it? The Galaxy 8? <laughs> These are all, this is what they did with all the, the bad Galaxy 8s that uh, had the bad battery or whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, under- I, I guess it's just garbled. I can't really understand what it's saying at the beginning of these. Viewers at home, we have a visual on the famed Mana Beast. Oh. What? This is terrible! The Mana Beast has just decimated the fortress! It's crumbling into the ocean! Ladies and gentlemen, the beast is, is heading this way! It's, it's coming straight for us! But camera's hurry! Oh. Wow, so that was probably the very last bit of communication before, you know, no one had technology anymore. Dude, this is wonderful. Like, there's, um, I feel like there's, like, a lot of allusion to, like, even our world. I mean, not anything specific. It's just, it, it feels like something that could really happen, and I feel like you could actually be playing in a post apoc Like, Secret of Mana feels like it could almost be, like, a post-apocalyptic Earth or something. Oh, here's a dude at the very top here. Sage Jock is fickle with visitors. He will not see anyone with polluted minds and murky thoughts. Ooh, I better not go after 9 p.m. then. Ooh. Okay, so does this... Okay, it doesn't go any further up. I guess this is the end of the temple here. But yeah, like, that that's quite a bit of depth there. And you know, I like, I like it because it doesn't just spell it out for you. You know, there's a lot of inferences to make. And, you know, playing these kind of games, especially, you know, if I could have played this back, you know, growing up with the SNES, it's like, games like this just let you imagine and wonder, you know, what could have been or what the story was. There's a lot of filling in the blanks, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's kind of interesting, actually. So, um, I guess there's, I guess I need to leave now. I guess there's not really, um, anything else for me to do uh, here. I can leave through the south and maybe maybe that's how I go see the sage, but 
I don't know, I just flew around on Flammy, so I know that the lofty mountains are over here, so I figure I can just land here, and that's probably the same result as, you know, running through the village. Oh, oh, okay, we've got people fighting over here, and I I feel like the village was right to the, to the, like, west here. I feel like I didn't really actually get very far. I think that, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to, alright, I'm gonna have to deal with this. I'm trying to orient myself before I start fighting stuff. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the, I don't know if I need to go to the east or the, or, or actually do I need to go in here? <laughs> Am I making this too complicated? Oh, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna have to examine some stuff here. Um, let me get to the magic. I'm really confused because I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Fierce head. Boy, that's an interesting one. <laughs> All right, it's got three HP and it is, it gives a lot of experience, a lot of money and Lumina, again, everything's weak to Lumina. Ooh, ooh, whoa, where am I? I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave because I'm supposed to go to the lofty mount or to go see the sage yak dude or whatever, but is he further up? Is he this way? Is he to the west? Oh dear. I don't- I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna lie. I f hmm. I feel like I should go check out this cave, but I don't know if I'm, like, coming here at- at the wrong time? I don't know, maybe I'm- uh, Oh, there's a little bat here that wasn't here last time. Uh, I'm a, hmm. Yeah, I'm just not really sure what to do. I'm gonna just stop here, and I guess I'll wander through this cave next time, and either I'm supposed to be here or I'm not, and I mean, I can look around. It won't hurt, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, thank you so much for watching me play Secret of Mana today. I saved Kakara Village and checked out uh, Mandala and now I'm going to head to wherever Sage Jock is. I don't think he's going to be inside of a cave. He's supposed to be on the top of the mountain. I feel like I'm going down, not up. But maybe this place is worth checking out? I don't know. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching and bye for now.